Like most Frenchmen, I've always been fascinated by the delightful children's rhyme, Ding dong dell, pussies in the well. The well. What mysteries lie beneath its calm surface? What strange life forms dwell beneath its murky depths? Depth. Depth. I set out on a bold, expensive journey to find out. Cousteau knew that special lighting and camera equipment would be necessary to capture on film the mysteries of the well. Ooh, it, it's so dark down there. You can't see nothing. Shut up. We've got big lights and everything. Yeah. At last, the crew finished their preparations for the dive. Cousteau would stay on the surface and keep in close telephone contact with his producer in New York. Rene and Philippe would make the dangerous descent while Pierre stayed on the surface trying to look busy. I bid farewell and good luck to René and Philippe and went to make some calls. Then the moment came. and power of water and stone, stone and water, water and water, stone and stone, more water, more stone. Suddenly the word well took on a new meaning. Well? <sighs> there was nothing. Uh, I told the old man, but that goof wouldn't listen. I, I found this bucket, but it's worth nothing. Who still personally listened to the diver's report. Hell, any signs of ancient civilization? Another thing. No new species of marine life? No, none at all. Well, any new breeds of marine biology? Don't be ridiculous. Archaeology? Nothing. Just a bucket. Let me see that. I felt my disappointment turn to joy as I realized the significance of our find. The well had been used by human beings and probably within our lifetime. I wondered to myself, what else may still lie undiscovered in the well? Perhaps some kind of little fish, too small to see. Yes, a, a little fish, but, but much but better than any other fish. Perhaps the ruins of uh, an ancient people that didn't have any pottery or jewelry or anything. But uh, I had left those discoveries for others to make. We had already reached their heads, the heat, that we had finished our TV program. Cousteau had done his job. Hundreds of man hours and hundreds of thousands of dollars had been sunk into that well. And the world of science is a little richer for it. Oh, I think the world of science is a lot richer for it. We'll finish the show now. No, we're not. I've got more discoveries to make, more little things to find. We have no time left, I'm sorry. What did you think of the bucket? I thought it was fascinating. It must have been 12 years old. 12. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for a bucket. You're a fool. Well, other than that, huh? I know. I hate doing this job. <laughs> 